What am I going to do to stabilize the hubris, do you think? Or what can I do? If I'm going to be pulling like this, where can I stabilize the hubris? Right here, okay? So come to the very distal end of the humerus. Grab hold nice and tight. I'm going to use my leg to support the arm a little bit so she can truly relax, okay? You can even palpate the radial head and that space just above it to see if you're actually getting a good distraction, okay? I'm going to use, um, it's not quite the key grip that we learned about today, it's more of like a side grip. I'm going to grab hold of the radius with this hand, not the ulna and the radius, not the whole forearm, but just the radius, kind of in this kind of position like this. Okay? So I'm going to hold tightly. I'm not going to dig in the fingers. I'm going to hold kind of at an angle, <clears throat> really firmly at the distal end of the radius, stabilized proximally at the humerus, and then I'm going to go ahead and just do a little distraction. Okay? So you notice what's moving on me? It's not so much my arms as my hands. It's more my trunk rotating just a little bit. Okay? If I try to get in here and pull, I mean, I can do that, but it's going to be a lot of work on my part. So you might have a little bit of pull, but then use your body to further distract, okay? Doing all right? Okay. So, again, stabilize proximally at the humerus. Have that leg for support of the arm. Palpate the radial head. Okay, palpate the radial head. Grab hold of the distal radius, not, not pokey, or the kind of flat part of your fingers, and then Distract a little bit, and then use your trunk to increase the distraction. Okay? All right there? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of weird. <laughs>